Hello everyone, hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Kiddo Craft. Today I'm going to show you how to make this. Ding! And this is a dinosaur egg. This is basically like a bath bomb. You put it in your bathtub with warm water and it fizzes and it reveals a fun toy like this. These don't have to be dinosaur eggs. They can just be surprise eggs with fun stuff inside. And you don't have to make them egg shaped for that matter. You can make them any shape you want, which I'll show you in the video. So let's go in the kitchen, I'll show you how to make it. So for this recipe, you're going to need some baking soda, some citric acid, which you can find in the canning section of your grocery store, some food coloring, and some melted coconut oil, or you can substitute vegetable oil. You'll need some tiny toys to put inside your bath bombs, and if you want to make perfect eggs, then you'll need some little plastic eggshells. So in a large bowl, add one cup of baking soda, and then to half a teaspoon of water, you're going to add four drops of food coloring. Add that to the baking soda and use a whisk to blend that in really well. When that's well blended, then you can add your citric acid. Be careful when adding this and stir it very gently because it does fume and can be very irritating, so just be careful when you're stirring this. Next, you're going to add your oil about one tablespoon at a time, and it can vary from three to five tablespoons. I used about three tablespoons of coconut oil. So the mixture is going to be really crumbly, but once you squeeze it and it holds its shape, then it's ready. To prepare your egg molds, you're going to take a pair of sharp scissors and cut them in about four sections, but not all the way through, just so you can get your bath bomb out. To shape your egg, you're going to add some of your mixture to it and then press pretty firmly, and then add your toy, and then do the same for the other half, and then put the two halves together and squeeze and twist them together. Then carefully remove the mold. and then place your bath bomb in an egg carton and allow it to dry overnight. You can also just skip this step and just use your hands to mold them into eggs. Here's another bath bomb idea. I'm just using these hard boiled egg molds. The concept is the same. You just fill the mold up with some of the mixture, then add a little toy, add a little bit more mixture on top and make sure you pack it down really, really tightly. Then invert the mold into your palm of your hand and then using a spoon, give it a few swift taps until the bath bomb pops out and then allow them to dry overnight. There you go, much better. Oh, that one is a big fizz. What do you think's inside that one? Dino! Do you want to put in a bear or a, a small egg? What do you want to put in? A small egg. Okay. Uh -huh. What do you think is in that one? Can you scoop it up and see with your shovel? Uh. Scoop it up in it. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a cool one. I think that's a stegosaurus, huh? I looked up a bunch of different recipes to come up with this project, and one of them was a video that I actually saw on YouTube called, I think it was called Dudes in Toyland. I'll put the link down below. And I based my recipe off of theirs. I used coconut oil and I used a different kind of molding technique, but yeah, I got some inspiration from there. And I also looked on Pinterest for a bunch of different recipes as well. But um, some tips to do this, these were really, really fun. My son really enjoyed both making them and then fizzing them afterwards. And um, yeah, they're fun. They are a lot of work. They are very messy. Be prepared to make a huge mess if you make this project. What else should I say? If you want to just hand mold them into kind of ovoids, then you're probably going to save yourself a lot of work. I found all the little toys that I put in my eggs on Etsy, so I'll put the link down below where you can find those as well. Uh, they were nice and small and very, very cute. So if you decide to use coconut oil for its beautiful emollient qualities, make sure your water is warm or hot because coconut oil solidifies at a relatively high temperature. So if your water is, you know, say below 70 degrees, it's going to be kind of like butter and then it will trap in all the gas and it won't get this beautiful fizzy reaction. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions and if you were a bath fizz, what flavor would you be? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so I'll see you next time. Now go make something. And it gives you three serving suggestions. It says you can have it as a snack or a salad topping, you can have it as an instant noodle in a mug, or you can have it as ramen cooking it over the stove top. So I'm gonna try all three.